Today we're talking all about shoes. I want to share with you my capsule shoe collection for 2023. These are all the shoes I own pretty much apart from like my gym trainers which I don't want to show you because that's boring. But all of my like fashion styling shoes. I have quite a small shoe wardrobe to be honest because shoes are something I like to invest in. So I have better quality shoes that are most importantly comfortable um, but less shoes. So I want to talk to you about my essential shoes, what I love wearing, what are the most comfortable and maybe some shoes that I don't get as much wear out of and wouldn't necessarily recommend to you. Starting off with my newest shoe purchase. Uh, you may not be surprised to see these. These are the Paula Babies from Cezanne in the patent purple shade. This gorgeous burgundy. They're fresh out of the box. They're box fresh, as they say. And they're so stunning. Look how gorgeous those are. Look how glossy. I've really gotten into patent shoes this year. It was never something I really gravitated towards before. But I love the shine and the different kind of texture that they bring to an outfit. So you'll see that all like loads of the shoes that I've invested in this year. And by the way, this year has really been about shoes for me. It's always a category of my wardrobe that I have neglected in the past. I've always thought about shoes last and thought about the clothes beforehand. But I really have come to realize, I think it's from partly from being on YouTube, partly from getting older, that shoes can really make or break an outfit. So I've really been investing this year in a good few pairs of shoes that are, as I said, comfortable but really stylish as well and one of my favorite kinds of shoe this year has been the slingback or the mary jane but specifically patent shoes and you'll see i've got loads now of patent shoes well a few pairs the paula baby style in general from suzanne i just think is so gorgeous they're pretty comfortable i would say if you are in between sizes definitely size up I would say they run a little bit small and Suzanne don't offer half sizes. They look great, obviously, with bare legs or, you know, skirts and things and dresses in the summer. But equally, you can definitely pair these, at least in my opinion, with tights, even with little frilly socks in the autumn winter. So you can still wear them in the colder seasons, despite them being a slingback. The next pair of shoes in my collection are quite similar actually because I bought these because I thought I was never going to get my hands on those patent purple Paula babies. So I bought these instead as a alternative and they are a great alternative if you can't get your hands on the Cezanne ones and you would like a shoe that is somewhat similar in colour and design these Reformation Mary Janes are stunning. Again they are patent. They are a darker shade if I compare the two, you can see they are definitely different colours. Um, but, you know, the same family. These are more red toned. These are more kind of brown purple toned. They do have a closed heel, which does make them somewhat more practical. Again, you can wear these with bare legs or with tights or with socks and they look really good. The heel height is very similar. They're very comfortable, in my opinion. They're more comfortable than the Cezanne Paula Babies, in my opinion. Um, and I just like, I love this little strap. I know these shoes aren't necessarily for everyone. They're definitely having a moment at the moment. But I have always loved this this style of shoe. I know some people think it's a bit grannyish, but personally, I love it. As much as I love my slingbacks, my Mary Janes, my heels, um, in reality, the most worn pair of shoes in my wardrobe are my trainers. And I know everyone and their mum has these shoes. These are the Adidas Sambas um, in this kind of original colorway. I know everyone has these shoes, as I said, but they are really good. I just like a slim profile trainer. I think a few years ago, obviously the chunky trainer was in trend and I don't feel like it ever suited me. Whereas I much prefer the more slim line, more slightly feminine, um, more rounded trainer. And I really love these. Um, ideally every day I would wear my Mary Janes, my slingbacks, my heeled boots, but sometimes you just want to be comfortable and these are a great, really comfortable pair of trainers. And as I said, I do like the look of them. I'm not really a trainer head or a sneaker head, but these are definitely my favorite pair of trainers I've owned in a long time. And I have tried a lot of different trainers. I have a pair of like chunky New Balance, which I only really wear to the gym um, or to like walking, like exercise. 
I've tried Vejas, which I do really like. I had a burgundy and pink pair that got absolutely destroyed. I do find that my trainers, I kind of wear them into the ground and then eventually I have to replace them. I do also have a pair of Converse, which I'm not showing in this video because I just really am not a Converse girl. They are so uncomfortable. Moving on, I have one pair of loafers in my collection and these are my top loafer recommendations. If you are looking for a pair of loafers, it is the Cezanne Vicky loafers. These are the best loafers in my opinion. Opinion, they are so comfortable. If we're going to talk about comfortable shoes, we have to talk about the Vicky loafer because they are so dreamy. The leather is like butter. It's so soft. They don't take any wearing in. They run a little bit big actually and like a lot of Cezanne shoes, I would, if you're between sizes or you're a half size, go for the smaller option. I went with my true size and they fit well but they're definitely roomier than th something like the Paula Baby in the same size. Um, and I just love this detail, I love that it's more of like an aged brass as opposed to like a bright gold. I love, I love everything about them, they're almost like a moccasin style loafer as opposed to anything else um, and I really like them and as I said they are so so comfortable which loafers tend to not be that comfortable they can be really hard and difficult to break in whereas these are super soft from the get-go so I would highly recommend the Vicky loafers from Susanna. I do have also this pair of Paula babies these are exactly the same as the first shoes I showed you but these were the original ones I bought these are the brown if I compare them to the red you can see the difference in color they're actually somewhat a little bit similar but again I feel like they're just different enough to, to warrant having both Love these shoes. I've worn these loads. I bought these, I want to say I bought these in about August and I wore them a lot towards the end of summer but I have, as I said, been wearing them still with tights in the autumn winter. So a great shoe in a size 38. A Cezanne shoe I have that I kind of regret purchasing because I just don't get the wear out of them and I knew this when I bought these and I decided to keep them that I probably wouldn't get the wear out of them but I was just sucked in and I kept them and now I kind of regret it. Even though they're a gorgeous shoe and I love to style them, they're just a little bit too high for my lifestyle. And it is the High Georgia Babies. Now I do style these fairly regularly in my videos on my Instagram, but I don't wear them out that often. I feel like I've worn them out maybe once or twice because they are pretty high for me. In saying that, they are really comfortable. If you're looking for a higher heel or you're more used to a higher heel, these obviously have quite a big platform as well. They are really comfortable for the heel height, but I just don't really have many places to go to wear a heel like this. So they're also quite chunky at the top, which I don't love. They're, they're quite square. I almost wish they were a little bit more rounded. Um, so yeah, so these are just shoes that don't get enough wear in my wardrobe, and I may be tempted to put these on Vinted and sell them. But so I, I do still keep hold of them because I love them. I love the look of them. But the reality is I always want my wardrobe to be we really wearable as well as nice and stylish because what is the point in just staring at a pair of shoes and not actually wearing them? So speaking of black patent shoes from Suzanne, I have these. You can definitely see I have a type when it comes to footwear. I love a patent shoe, as I said. I love a Mary Jane, love a slingback. These are the Elisa or Eliza slingbacks from Suzanne. These come in a few different colours. I have the black. Now, a funny story about these. If you watched my video when I unboxed these initially, um, you might remember I said that I wasn't going to keep these because they were really uncomfortable. Yes, they are not the most comfortable shoes. If you're trying to choose between the Eliza slingback, which is a higher heel, or the Paula Baby, which is a lower heel and just slightly different. It's got the double strap. This has got um, no strap, actually. Um, otherwise, it's similar. It's a slingback. These around the toe area are quite shallow, and I find that they aren't very comfortable. And that is still true. The reason I have these in my collection is because I forgot to send them back. I posted my return, and I forgot to include these. I, I literally put the shoe box in the returns box but not the actual shoes so I ended up keeping them and to be fair I have worn them a few times and they do get a little bit more comfortable as you wear them in but they are still by no means the most comfortable shoes I own and if I was going to do it again I obviously wouldn't have kept them I wanted to return them having said that I love the look of them I love the look of them um, I love the extra heel height compared to the Paula baby I love the simple detail I love the black patent um, so for the look they're a 10 of 10 but for the comfort they're probably only like a 4 or a 5 out of 10. 
As we know, 2023 has been the year of the ballet flat and I have a pair of ballet flats as well. These are my beloved Chanel ballet flats from Vestiaire Collective. So I did buy these secondhand. They're a simple black leather ballet flat from Chanel. They have the little CC logo in the black leather and they've got the classic bow. Other than that, they're very simple. Um, these are gorgeous. They are... Mm, I really like how slim and petite and kind of narrow these are on the foot. They are quite narrow. I don't know if this is true for all Chanel shoes. These are the only Chanel ballet flats or shoes I've ever tried, surprisingly. Um, they are very narrow. Luckily, I, I have fairly narrow feet, so they're fine on me. But I think if you've got wide feet, this section here is so, so small. So I wouldn't recommend these, especially obviously if you're going to buy them secondhand online and you can't try them. I would be a little bit hesitant to buy them if you've got any kind of wider foot or um even just like a normal sized foot because they are really narrow but two categories i have left in my shoe collection are sandals and boots i'll start with sandals because i just have two pairs they are both from Cezanne. i really do like Cezanne footwear generally my first pair are a pair of heeled sandals these are the um nope i can't remember the name of them but they are this silver metallic Heeled sandal, these are great for events, more formal occasions, evenings. When I do want a heeled option, they are really comfortable. I have worn these to a couple of weddings, like in the summer just gone, and I wore them from maybe sort of 4 p.m. until midnight, and they were fine. I was still feeling like I could walk and stand and dance and things like that. So I would definitely recommend these if you're after a pair of heeled sandals. I do think they're very beautiful. I really, as I said, do rate Cezanne footwear generally. Um, and these ones I got in a size 38, my usual size, so I would say they are true to size. The other pair of Cezanne sandals I have are a flat pair. These are a year older, so they're looking a little bit worse for wear. I don't really want to show them too up close to the camera, but they're just a plain flat pair of brown leather sandals. Um, it, they are completely flat, so there is no support or cushioning. That's the only negative I would say about a lot of Cezanne's flat sandals is that they don't tend to have like padded bottoms. It's just like a leather, hard leather. Um, so I wouldn't wear these on days where you're going to be walking around a lot. They're fine generally. They are really relatively comfortable and none of like the leather straps rubbed me or anything like that but there is no padding or cushioning so you know don't wear them if you're going to be doing a lot of walking and as i said the final category in my shoe wardrobe are boots and if you've watched me you'll know that this was the year i discovered and fell in love with a brand called duo boots who make custom calf size ankle boots and knee high boots so i have five pairs in my collection now from duo boots and i wear them all i love them all they are on such high rotation in my winter wardrobe specifically and autumn three pairs i did by myself and then two pairs of these boots were very kindly gifted by the brand. They reached out um, when they found out how much I loved their boots. So the first pair I have are the only flat pair. The others are all heeled. These are a pair of green suede flat boots. I believe these are called the Verity boots. They're a knee high suede boot. They come in a few different colors, but I chose this gorgeous like forest khaki green color. I thought it was a little bit different. Um, it's such a beautiful shade and works really nicely with autumn, winter color palettes. These are really comfortable. These in terms of the calf um, width, obviously you measure your calf and you pick the size that's closest to your calf width. These ones come up a little bit bigger than all of the other styles I've tried from Duo Boots. So if you are between calf sizes very closely, then you might wanna go for the smaller one. But um, generally I, I got my regular size and they're fine. Um, so yes, these are a flat pair of green suede boots. So stunning, really comfortable. I have put a suede protector on them so I can wear them in the British weather, which is nice. And then I have another pair of suede boots. These are a heeled boot. Um, I can't remember the style name of these. <sighs> Yeah, I can't remember it, so I'll leave them linked down below. Um, but these are a brown suede, as I said, a heeled boot. They are a little bit skinnier in the calf in the same size, but otherwise they're really comfortable. Duo boots do often, I think apart from the Verity boots that I just showed you, all of the other ones I've tried do have a slight hidden stretchy panel in them. So they do have a little bit of give as well, even though they are custom calf sizes. And I do love the boho nature of these brown suede ones. And then I have three pairs of leather boots from 
from them. I have these, which were a little bit outside of my comfort zone. These were kindly gifted by the brand. I chose these because I wanted something that I perhaps wouldn't choose myself if I was buying myself boots. But because these were gifted, I was willing to kind of step outside of my comfort zone a little bit. These are the Freya boot in the black croc. I believe these come in a few different colors. I know they come in a burgundy, which is stunning. I think both a burgundy croc and a smooth burgundy. And they're more of like a pointed stiletto heel. So they're not too high. So they are still relatively comfortable. But yeah, I would specifically save these for more evening formal, like dressier occasions. I'm not gonna be walking around the city in stiletto heels, um, but I do really enjoy styling them. And um, yes, they're, they're gorgeous and they definitely dress up my outfits like no other shoe that I own. And then the final pair of boots I have to show you, I have this these shoes in two different colours. These are my favourite from Duo Boots. These are the ones I recommend the most and I get the most wear out of. These are the plain black leather Dahlia boots and I also have them in the dark brown as well. They're actually a very dark brown. Sometimes on camera they do look almost black. These are the dark brown. And then these are the black. So you can see there is a difference, but these are a very dark brown, which I do really like because they're just a little bit softer and warmer than a true black. So if I'm wearing a lot of like, I don't know, more muted shades and I don't want something that's quite as high contrast and jarring as the black, then I will go for the chocolate brown and they are so comfortable, so beautiful. They have like a small heel, but it's not too high. They're really wearable for every day. I have walked all day around London in these before and they're perfect. I just love the Dahlia boots from Duo Boots. So if you are looking for a new pair of um, knee high boots, specifically if you struggle to fit into kind of high street regular shoes, which don't offer custom sizes, then I would highly recommend checking out Duo Boots. All of their boots are handmade in Portugal. The quality is stunning. They're 100% leather. They're really beautiful boots. And I do believe that they are currently running an end of season sale. So if you are interested and maybe you've had a pair on your wish list for a while, now might be the time. This is completely unsponsored by the way. They haven't asked me to say this. I'm not getting any kind of reward for saying this. I just noticed they emailed me. Um, I just got their like end of season email and it said that their sale starts on the 14th of December. So if you're after a pair of knee high boots, I will link the end of season sale on Jura boots down below. You measure your calf with just like a regular fabric um, soft flexible tape measure you pick the size generally you, you round up to the nearest size on duo boots they offer eight different sizes of calf width and they also conference I guess and they also offer different heights for different heights so if you're petite regular or tall you can choose those and obviously different shoe sizes as well and you just get the perfect most beautiful fitting pair of knee high boots and that is my shoe collection. Those are all the shoes I own and wear on a regular basis. I do love all of them. I definitely get more wear out of the most practical ones. And I do tend to choose shoes for their comfort first and foremost, and then their style second. And that, that applies to most of my shoes. So yes, let me know what you think of my shoe collection. Am I missing any essential shoe styles that you would recommend? Um, what are your favorite pair of shoes in your own collection? I would love to hear from you. But also leave another video here if you would like to continue watching. Otherwise, I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.